They sacrificed everything to keep people safe. These people on this wall died doing the people's most sacred and dangerous business, protection. Trooper Joseph E. Gurdy. And today, law enforcement officers and families gathered to pay tribute to loved ones who died in the line of duty, a yearly tradition that spans generations. My grandmother came with me every year, um, and when she passed, she made me promise that I would keep it going. Um, so these guys have come since they were babies. So we come every year, and this is, uh, it's been 25 years, which uh, still hurts. Fran Sharon comes to the ceremony for her son Jeremy, an Epsom police officer who was shot and killed in the line of duty in 1997. We also pause to remember Officer Rory Bohannon. But this year she's also honoring another. Hillsborough police officer Rory Bohannon, a school resource officer who died of a medical emergency earlier this month. I want to honor him too because I, work in the, I worked in the school and uh, he's just a very special officer. He is always in our hearts. Others keeping loved ones' memories alive through stories. My husband had lost his dad when he was only five years old. So, but I hear wonderful stories of him and we bring our children here uh, every year. Staff Sergeant Jesse E. Sherrill. Staff Sergeant Jesse Sherrill's name was added to the law enforcement officer's memorial. Sherrill was killed last year when a tractor trailer collided with his cruiser in a work zone. Another fallen hero now immortalized in stone. Law enforcement also honoring other first responders who continue to put their lives on the line every day. In Concord, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.